everybody, welcome to Otaku Saga. I'm Rizzo. I'm Zero. And I'm DK. On this episode of Anime Reaction, we watch the seventh episode of Tanaka Kun wa Itsumo Kedaruge. If you want to check out our reaction to the seventh episode of Tanaka Kun wa Itsumo Kedaruge, Hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section, because we love hearing from you. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga. And don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for watching. watching. Please support the official release. We now return you to your regularly scheduled idiots. Ding. So on this episode of uh, Tanaka-kun, it's, it's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. We did not rehearse that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Yeah. But yeah, so it's Valentine's Day and Tanaka finds chocolate in his bag. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Fuck this, this shit, I'm out. out. No thanks. <laughs> That's exactly what he that, thinks. That was his reaction. <laughs> it means I actually have to bit, do something yeah. for White Day. <laughs> yeah, basically his thing is is that he doesn't want to he doesn't want to do anything for White Day. Which is kind of understandable because yeah. basically what the what the thing is, I guess the, the custom the, the custom is, is that whatever whatever the white day present is is supposed to be about three times as expensive as the chocolates. And those Valentine's Day chocolates in Japan are not fucking cheap. They, the ones that I got were homemade. Yeah, those were homemade, which are well priceless. When you really think about it, but uh, yeah, so I can understand his uh, hesitation there. I also like how uh, how Ota got chocolates, and they they were the most bitter chocolates imaginable. Ninety eight yen, cheap bitter. And he's the character that likes the sweets. Yep. I actually have tasted said said type of chocolate bar. A, it was a 98% cocoa. Oh, damn. 98% yeah. cocoa. 70% is pretty intense. 70% is what you find in a Hershey's chocolate dark chocolate bar. I think the most I had was like 80, 85. I, but 98%. I don't eat that garbage. I actually like dark chocolate. I actually nice. do too. I, I'm more like Ota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. When I eat sweets, I like sweet bits. But um, yeah, so basically, they're spending all day at school trying to figure out who who gave it to them <laughs> and failing, oh, and man, failing just... so miserably. First, they think uh, Miano. Miano. Uh, you know, an obvious choice, especially with the note saying that uh, the I'm person is always people. watching him. But also, though, uh, the way Ota describes her, she's kind of like a living bullet. Hey, sister! <laughs> I want to keep that picture. It's his sister. <laughs> <laughs> a spoiler bullet. Yes, yeah, spoiler bullet. But yeah, so uh, they first think that it's Miano, and then they overhear a conversation between Miano and uh, Echizen. Mm-hmm. Uh, that shot that discussing shit. That, that yeah that she forgot that it or forgot the Valentine's Day chocolate. But not only that, also that. She doesn't think of Tanaka-kun and Ota as members of the opposite sex. No, she thinks of them more like God or Buddha. Much. And that, the interesting thing about that is Tanaka-kun thinks the same thing of her. Yeah. Except for, I don't think of her as the opposite sex. I think of her more like a living bullet. Yo. Hashtag God zoned. <laughs> right. Oh, God. And then, so, uh, <laughs> Ota surprisingly comes up with the idea that it might be Shiraishi. Well, he tasted the chocolate and then he's, he's remembering because his knowledge of sweets is unrivaled. Encyclopedic. Um, so, yeah, he there thinks it's Shiraishi. One. Then they overhear Shiraishi talking with her, um, I wouldn't really describe them as friends. And her groupies. Yes, her groupies at, saying that she completely forgot that it was Valentine's Day. Oh, Let's shit. See. Yeah. Ah, uh, poor Shiraishi. <laughs> but Tanaka. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Damn, I, well, he was really hoping. Fuck. He I have officially hoping. run out of options. Well, from the, from the way he worded it, though, I think he was hoping it was her. Right? Yeah, actually, that's that's, that's, like, that's how it came across, I think. He actually does seem to be showing interest in Shiraishi. Oh, my. 
Because he was actually him. considering um, well, returning yeah. the favor. Yeah, well, not only that, but when he was eating the chocolates and he thought it was shirishi, he was like, hey, this is pretty good. Oh. And when he finds out it's not shirishi, he's like, oh, I'm kind of sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, so that's that's kind of interesting. That's not actually what you typically see in these type of series. No, it's not. Kind of sets a pope for an OTP. <laughs> um, we ship it. Yeah. So then uh, they're they're walking home, and uh, Tanaka's little sister Rena, uh, Rena, Reno, Reno, Ringo, Reno. Can't believe I said that. <laughs> uh, Reno shows up, and uh, after a voice recorder. Oh, oh, oh yeah, shit! Voice recorder bit. So yeah, a voice recorder <laughs> falls out of Tanaka's bag. Oh man! And they're immediately like. Uh, just that's fucking creepy. Just yeah, t- t- Tanaka losing the color in his face, right. like color failure. Just <laughs> oh shit, that was nice. But yeah, so Very his nice. sister comes along and reveals that it was her voice recorder that she usually takes to school to record one of her teachers who talks really fast and to let him know about and rub it in his face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not to be able to take <laughs> notes. Yeah, to rub his mistakes in his face. Damn. A little bitch. She's going places. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so then she invites Ota back to their house for coffee. Well, tea, technically, is what they said, but it's just drinks tea. in general, I guess. Oh, right. yeah. And, uh, yeah, they, and chill. they had. Shut up. Indeed. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so they, they kind of have a little conversation over a bitcher coffee over very bitter coffee and then um tanaka and ota reveal that uh they tasted the chocolates but they both tasted the chocolates yep and they just so happen to be reno's chocolates that's when you knew and she was super pissed that ota got into them she was super pissed but at the same time super cute (laughs) adorable angry Adorable angry. But yes, so uh, Rena has a major, 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 major brother complex. So, bigger, uh, bigger bro con this season. Her or Senna from Big Order? Come on now. I know. Don't but still. play about that. <laughs> One is in a sexual relationship with her brother, the other is not. Yet. Not confirmed. <laughs> anyway. Go look at your doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. I guess they just look that alike. Yeah. Moving on, though. Next week's episode, it looks like we might get the same for Ota's sister. Ota's ordeal. Yeah, so it, um, it said that Ota was injured. Mm. So, Can't be uh, good. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really I really do look forward to all the episodes that we watch of this series. It's this really, is, it's really entertaining for what it is. Very much so. I mean... Many more of our subscribers should watch it. Yep. Yes, they should. <laughs> Although, yeah, a lot of but yeah, uh, uh, it. yeah, we were discussing also. during the reaction, uh, you know, kind of the, the, little, the little things that the animators do that just make... <clears throat> <clears throat> like ampl- amplify the cuteness of the female characters. Yeah, well, it just or... amplifies the. It just it, it brings makes... that tad bits of emotion to some to the scene. That's it. It enhances the subtle you know, the subtle changes they make That's to a character's I'm expression. It subtle. enhances how they portray the emotion that they want to, and they they've been on point throughout this entire series. Every little moment, you know, it's just, it's pure gold. It, it's honestly some of my favorite animation this season. Very much so. I think um, the, the times where it gets to massive degrees of change, as in uh, Etchan's moeiness. moeiness. Well, actually, yeah, that was pretty epic. It's... And um, Ota, in, in this episode, Ota Tanaka. Turning into fucking <laughs> god and Buddha. Oh yeah, <laughs> they're more like God or Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Wow, it's just they do it so perfectly. They really do. All just the all the changes that they do just 
the right one at the right time for the right character. Think. So yeah, there you go. Uh, but uh, I think that about wraps up for this time on Anime Reaction. I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.